All right. This is Valheim 30. I'm Cody. I've got a little piggy in my way here. There he goes. Get out the way, piggy. I'm trying to just finish my protective fence around the inner layer here uh, to keep my piggy safe. Uh, but I don't want my piggy to keep being in my dang way, piggy. All right. So yeah, continuing to build kind of just on the inside of this tiny outer fence just so that there's a little bit more of a challenge for anything trying to get at me. Um, Cause there could at this point still be, I think a skeleton attack at any time before I even get through the first boss. Eighth gear. And then after I get through there, there's more, um, I think the forest is moving is the one that can come at me. Can't quite remember if that's the first one or the second one. All right, so I'm out of wood. Babies are being made. So I'm still kind of like in this early pig phase and like secure the base with wood before I go into the outer kind of like exploration phase where I find out a little bit more about it. Where I get more deer hide and boar. I mean, I don't have to get boar hide. That's going to be provided by me by this one star breed that I'm making. This brood. So this time that feels like it's a little wasted is actually going to be accelerated quickly. And I, like I'd say, I think you can run around and find more boar without doing the farming. Farming's just something I do. I get it started pretty early. I get those boars going so that as I can, like I say, I continue in the game, you're going to need a variety of like, you're going to need the boar hide for lots of different things. More open space. That's what I thought as soon as I kind of like, Put that fence up, so let's move this one. Okay, this bee needs to be more open space. Let's say, let's try. I mean, the funny thing is it might just be that it was too low or facing the wrong way. Bees are happy. See if they stay happy. Yep, they're happy. So they probably just needed to be a little higher up, it turns out. Okay. Is it? I'm like, is it dark? I think it's dark, right? So let me uh, stick around here, put some food away. And if I can go to sleep, go ahead and go to sleep. Here we go. Good morning, I believe we're at day 11, and I believe this is, I don't know, 9 or 8? 30 minute Valheim episodes in. And, uh, you know, we still haven't gone for it gear. We are still working on the home base with the boar farm. And uh, just taking it easy. It's raining. You know, no rush. So I am continuing to reinforce my base here, um, and uh, I need more wood. Continue to cut these small things out of the inner side cycle, um, inner part of the fence here. That's good. Let's go ahead and break my own fence. Um, we don't really do much. Quick to cut. The bigger ones, I don't know, in some way, if something kind of got through, maybe the bigger tree sort of helps. I don't know. I gotta dodge the tree at least. And it's also kind of like nothing's bothering me while I'm doing this because they're all inside there. 
Um, I think I'll take this one down, and it might cause a chain reaction, so we'll see. There's a lot of trees knocking around over here. Okay, we're good. Good fall. Um, wood cutting, I usually advance to 100 probably before anything else in the game. So I use it so much early on. Oh yeah, there's those uh, mushrooms back. Okay, it looks like about 10 days, which is what I thought. I should have checked on day 10 down there. But 10 days or so is about, I think, the reset on these plop uh, these various pickable things. Mushrooms, blueberry, uh, raspberries, blueberries later, things like that. This is great. It's interesting, I didn't quite flat all the way around here. My things, there we go. Definitely gonna need a lot more trees for all this. Okay, see here this guy's kinda scratching at my thing. I don't want him to break it. Let's go get take care of him. Get out of here, bro. The one thing I wonder is if the axe it does look like it. Like the axe needs me to sharpen it. Oh shit! I almost hit me. Sharpen it more if I'm cutting the smaller things. Oh, look at that. There we go. There's that chain reaction. Oh, boy. <laughs> so much for these trees. Great. No problem. That saved me some time. Look at that. So that's going to be enough for sure, uh, I think, to get the inner perimeter covered with trees. Covered with trees? I guess I mean covered with the wood that was made for trees. Look at that. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, where'd that come from? Oh. Alright. Plenty of wood, y'all. <laughs> Wait, okay, yeah, I knocked down another tree. That one. Wood cutting continuing to climb up the ranks. Well ahead of any other skill. Yeah, I see those two mushrooms by that. I see the raspberries there too. Let's go grab them. Yum yum. Oh, yeah, okay. Two raspberries. Oh, there's three raspberries. Maybe those are a couple of seconds behind. Right, so look at that. That's pretty secure. This one, it's enough wood for now. Let's see? Alright. And, uh, yeah, so I can kind of actually go out this way a little bit. Either way, there's two little defenses. This one's bigger. Defense is bigger here. So that's the inner perimeter. There's a little runny ham. Look at this. Okay, as he star. A little piggy, one no stars, no star boars, okay. We got piggy piggy. We got all these little piggies. I'll get out of here, piggies. Get out of here. 
I love how they T-bar on the piggies sometimes. There you go. Yeah, you can get out. No, you want to. There you go. Okay. Same thing as earlier. Go ahead and take care of some of these pigs flying around. So, I mean, I'm already kind of getting some pretty good returns on these pigs now. And I've got the one stars about to have enough. There we go. Look at that. More one stars. Alright, cool. So that's like six, six, and six. Alright, so... Why are you guys all clumped up? Either one of those is a one star pig. They're not. Sometimes it takes a few rolls of the dice. These are, but they're just little baby piggies, so I'm just gonna put more food in here. I think I can get them to squeeze out another couple. That's how I do it to get started. I do like when I can turn these things upside down so the honey doesn't fall on top. But not on this, not with no mods. I'm trying to play vanilla. kind of good on wood for a little while until I start to expand my base. And the pigs, you know, coming along. Look at that. Got all this out of them already. Out there making more babies. Kind of getting there. is next. Like, I guess, honestly, because I'm still doing the breeding, and if I want to continue optimizing that, then, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to Stick around the area here, probably go AFK for a bit, which is about time because I'm frickin' tired. Just leave him some food and hope for the best. I'm a little worried about a raid though, with me not at the keyboard. That's the only concern I have about that. Normally I do that in a different environment where the base itself is indestructible. Put a roof over him and they'll be fine. So I could, well, put a roof over them and they'll be a little bit fine. But I'm worried if I stay inside and I'm AFK and there's a skeleton attack, this is going to destroy the base. I don't see how that's not true. So we're not doing that. So after 15 minutes of this, we're going to be done now. Kind of main thing I think that I'm going to be dealing with is just needing to kill a bunch of deer. So I can always just kind of check out the area for deer. 
and other things and just take care of it. So, it seems reasonable. Just sticking to the outside perimeter here. All right, here we go. Occasionally chasing down an errant deer. Okay, here's some parking. Where are y'all at? There's one on the island, but that's pretty far. Occasionally, I like to fist fight a Greyling just to let out some Viking aggression. I don't know where those deer. Oh, 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 oh where'd you go? Okay, well, there's all these mushrooms. Resetting in the places that I've made easy to find by a trail. <laughs> okay. That's alright. That's not getting me anywhere, but I did find some mushrooms. Let's see. There we go. Okay, I am gonna make that trail. There we go. Mushroom offshoot. Okay. I mean, eventually I'll need a lot of stone. <clears throat> Not quite yet, but eventually. Alright, I was looking for deer. Oh, there we go. Son of a... Oh my god. There we go. Whew, got to totally readjust for this low-end bow. <clears throat> Deer hides and skeletons. This is basically the idea. Just kind of chill, find trails that I've made. Kind of walk around my base. Extend the trails as I see fit. Rustle up critters. Do it. This is Valheim. I know it's very possible to just race faster through it. I think that could be fun. It's not what this is for me. Here we go. Look at that that yeah baby just popping them off you know abundance of nature in the game okay so yeah a little downhill it always kind of throws me off because it's already downhill Wow, this bow, bud. This bow. Okay. Everything's kind of back here. Oh, I think I got these earlier. Where's that one? Look at that. Fish just fell from heaven. Hee <laughs> hee. Yum yum. 
Another one. Look at that. Oh, missed him. Slippery little fella. I guess I can go out to that island. I saw that deer over there. And these are useful later for poison potion. That high? Wow, higher. Wow, higher. Okay, you got my attention. Happy? Okay, hello, island. These days all feel so short. Northern. Short day places. I guess I could have shot that for the feathers. Gotta had a bow and arrow. Where are you? You're not a deer. Showing up on the deer. Okay, where you at? was a little bit of silent lucidity floating around looking for deer focusing night is coming death star new one star piggies a couple of one star piggies how many one star piggies Take my knife away so I don't accidentally kill them. Okay, this can be. <laughs> 
hungry, time to sleep, all came together pretty well. <clears throat> Whew, about five and a half minutes left here. Maybe a little less than that. Okay, what do we got? We got a variety of things. And we're stockpiling. And look at that, four level... Oh, it's a level four perch. Not bad. Okay. Alright. And yeah, got some deer hide. This is perfect. Deer meat. Why not? Hard stuff. And, uh... There you go. Alright, so, yeah. The fish is gonna be super good, but I can't split it till I get the uh, pot. I can't get the pot till I get the tin. I can't get the tin till I get the antler. Can't get the antler till I kill the eek there. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to use my bow for eek there a lot, so let's check that out. Wood, leather scraps, and deer hide. Well, guess what I think I have a pretty good amount of. Already knew that. There we go. There we go. Look at that. We are going to upgrade this bow. And that's it because we don't have the other thing. All right. Don't have bones and also don't have level three. Okay. Just resin for the shield. Might as well do that. Well, it's not really the best shield. I'll probably use it for a little while. Until I get the copper and whatnot. So yeah, let's get this guy out of here. He goes into food. Okay. So it was... Oh yeah, okay. Let's check that out. So for this, crafting... Tanning rack. I'm gonna need 20 leather scraps and 15 flint. All right. Well, I am not too far from that. And I need to get more flint. Okay, let's go get more flint. Should be some around the ocean water. Oh, look at you. Goodbye. Star. <gasps> Are you kidding? I killed a one star boar. Oh no, oh no. anymore where that came from. Right there's one. Okay. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Huh. 
<laughs> that was exhausting. Yes, you go in there too. Where'd you go? Here? Okay. You both go in there. Okay. Phew! Okay, that's it for now. Wow, we got one star pigs on the way. It is blazing.